They don't, but we see them. Any upgrades going on? Nope. No heroes on the way either. The thing about spamming from three production buildings is you don't have enough money to really upgrade. So, no teching us at all. And... Yeah, making the most of the archers here. Ratio 2 to 1 for the archers to the soldiers. Wildman should be going down. Yeah. Gondor soldiers are very, very underrated, actually. They're probably the archer unit you see the least. I mean, you even see go you see goblin archers now and then. Well, good goblin players make archers. You, of course, see Mordor orc archers. I mean, it's the only, like, archer unit used less than Gondor archers is probably axe throwers for dwarves. But they can, they can be used really well. And, oh, is that Lurtz? Is that Lurtz? No, it's... Pretty. Oh, how disappointing. Is spam really picking up here? If you check out the army size. And the West really has a an art an advantage here, despite losses. Oh uh, but are they gonna kill the furnace in time? They're not very clamped. I don't think they are. They might. Gone the archers picking up the war glares. Oh, he probably should have left one of the war glares now for Boromir to level up, but maybe he isn't gonna get Boromir. Maybe he'll go for Theoden instead. Considering his army spam spell, I think early leadership might actually help him a lot. Yep, and that furnace went down, and now these guns of soldiers are going to get destroyed. So are the archers. Oh, I think I had that Yurik pit. Still quite hurt. We have two fairly large sized armies here, meeting in the middle. Furnace is going to go down. And I think power points might make the difference here. Rally calls available, but Crabane isn't for Isengard, so. Yep, are we going to see Rally call? Yep. Oh, he missed the front two units, but they're not actually doing anything. These archers can really stop picking up the wild men now though. And the knights. Well let's just watch here. Like like that's that's how easily they can harass really. Well rally cool and ooh we have we have some rangers. Archery rangers teched up. Rangers now they are really going to make the difference. Look at the wild men trying to harass here. One group of rangers on defence, and you don't need to worry about groups of wild men attacking. And yep, that skirmish in the middle went in men's favour, really. Gondor, see, this this is um, the benefit of Gondor archers here. You can't just neglect them. And we we have some wargs for Isengard. How is that going to affect things? And with Isengard's economy picking up. They're gonna go for the builder. The knights, have they got the builder? I think they've got the builder. No, they did, but no. Level two wild men standing or clan steading, so we might see some axe throwers in out. Yeah, we do. Men of the West really have some momentum now, and they have 10 power points. They could get healed, they could get rebuilt. 
where they could get one of the 10 power points. Options are completely open to them. Ooh, this is good. Well, axe throwers do horrible things to Gondor soldiers, so their meat shield isn't going to be a lot longer. We have Tom Bombadil. Is he going to be here? Yep. Here he is. And look at the complete destruction that little merry man can do. Well, that didn't even kill them. A pathetic Tom Bombadil. Ooh, what's that over there? We have, we have spearmen. Yeah. Warg riders coming out. Are they going to be able to stop the archers? So I have my doubts, to be honest. Never mind the archers, Tom Bombadil. <laughs> he does not care, he just goes right through the warg riders. And these warg riders are now dying. The trampling. There we got it. Is that the only group of rangers out? I think they are. Ah, level 3 archery range, we're going to see fire arrows, so this could be going from slight um, advantage to complete winning now. Tom Bombadil really causing havoc here, and as we have seen, Isengard have been unable to build alerts, so no leadership. going to save up their resources? No, they're not. They're going to keep up their spam as they should. I'm not going to lose their advantage. Oh, we have lit. I lie. There is lit. Level 1. Slowly leveling up. How are men of the west going to stop the, him? I do not know. Maybe rangers might come into this, I imagine. Ooh, 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 we have Boromir out. A bit late, but... Hey. Well, where's the lips gone? There, no. Should be Yurik, they all look the same. No, that's an orc. That's an orc. Well, I'm sure he was in there somewhere, but now he's not. Over here, no, wild man. I cannot spot this, I don't care anymore, he's unimportant to this match. And we have Gondor Knights. I wonder how Gondor Knights do against Warg Riders. Oh, oh, no, oh. just managed to stop in time. And now they're going to go back through the wild man, I think. This is a decisive victory here for Men of the West. But with Isengard's economy, they can afford to spam, and Boromir has got near to no experience. He needs to get to the, get near the um, archers. There he is. I think. Yep. Level ooh, nearly level three. He gets level three, and he can just destroy Lurtz. And Lurtz hasn't even got his horn yet. And four. Rangers out, more Gondor soldiers. Men of the West getting in, that is very, very useful. Sorry, silence, I'm just observing the mats, trying to make heads of tail, what's going on here, what's going to happen. It's almost symmetrical here, at the top we have Isengard's push, warg riders, axe throwers, pikemen, lurts, at the bottom we have Gondor soldiers, 
um, Gondor Rangers, Rohan Spearmen, and Boromir, I believe. And, of course, Gondor Knights. Yep, there's Boromir. Only level one. Who, who's going to be able to push the hardest is the thing here. That's Re Rohan Spearman coming up, but the population is full. Maybe he should build a dormitory, but he hasn't got enough money. Ooh, this is going to be tough. We're going to oh level three farm, that's going to be going down. Tom Bombadil's not ready. Watch is nearly here, which is horrific. That watch one watcher here could just destroy the army, but we have fire arrows. 